Today we are going to be comparing fractions. Our learning target is I can compare fractions with unlike numerators and unlike denominators. We are going to redraw our fraction models. Why should we spend extra time doing that? Sometimes the pictures will be there for you, but it's very hard to compare two pictures that are side by side. So what I'm going to show you is a method to redraw them so they're on top of each other. When they're on top of each other, it's clear to see which fraction is bigger. We are going to start by comparing two-fourths and one-third. We want to start by drawing two equally sized rectangles. We want to do the best job we can to make sure they are the same length. Those look pretty good. The first fraction model I need to break into fourths. I know that four is an even number, which means that there is a halfway line right down the middle. So now it's in halves, I need two more pieces, one on either side. With one third, three is not an even number, so I can't draw that line down the middle. We know that when we have a fraction model that we want to draw, we need to break it up into equal sized pieces, so I need three pieces, which means I draw two lines. So let's compare. We're going to shade in. So I'm going to shade in two-fourths, one-fourth, two-fourths. And now we only shade in one-third. We're going to figure out which one is larger by drawing our line down from our larger piece to our smaller piece. Do you see that two-fourths travels further towards one whole than one-third does. It has more shaded in. You can see that one-third would need this piece shaded in to be equal to two-fourths, but it doesn't have that option. So two-fourths is going to be the larger fraction. So two-fourths is greater than one-third. We can also put not equal to. Let's do another one. We have five-eighths compared to two-thirds. We're drawing our two equally sized pieces. Five-eighths for one and two-thirds for the other. Eight is an even denominator, so I can draw that line down the middle. I have two pieces. I need eight pieces, so I need six more. So I'm going to draw one more on each side and that gives me fourths, and I cut those in half again, and that will give me my eighths. Thirds, remember, we need to draw our two lines, and now we have our equal pieces. Let's shade in five pieces for five eighths, one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths, and let's shade in two thirds. One third, two-thirds. Ooh, this is a close one. Let's see if five-eighths is bigger. So we're going to take that line, we're going to draw it down. Does five-eighths travel farther than two-thirds? You can see that this piece on two-thirds is larger than our five-eighths line. So five-eighths is going to be less than and not equal to two-thirds. When we drew the picture here, we were able to see which fraction was bigger. When we don't do that, we're just making a guess in our head. And we don't need to be lazy, we need to make sure we show our work. Six tenths compared to four fifths. Here, I have a little trick for us. I know that ten and five have something in common. And I know that 5 times 2 equals 10. So I'm going to start by drawing fifths on the bottom. So I need to draw four lines. 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm going to draw those same lines because fifths actually shares with tenths. But that's not 10 pieces on the top. That's only 5. And I know that I need to cut each of those in half. And let's do some shading. One-tenth, two-tenths, three-tenths, four-tenths, 
five tenths, six tenths. Now let's shade in four fifths. One fifth, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths. I think it's clear which one's larger here. We can see that four fifths travels further, has more shaded in than six tenths does, which means that six tenths is less than and not equal to four fifths. Let's try another one. Ninths. Ooh, ninths are tricky to draw. So we have six ninths compared to two thirds. So we're going to draw those equally sized pieces. Ninths, which means I need to draw eight lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Thirds, we know we only need to draw three lines. One, I'm sorry, we only need to draw two lines. Two, and that gives us thirds. Let's do some shading. One ninth, two ninths, three ninths, four ninths, five ninths, six ninths, and that's it. Let's shade in two thirds. One third, two thirds. Hmm. What do you notice here? I notice that they are in the exact same spot. They are both the same length which means six-ninths is equal to two-thirds. Wow, that was a tricky one. Let's do one more. Eight-twelfths compared to three-sixths. So we're going to draw our equally sized bars. Twelve and six are both even, so we both get that halfway line. Twelfths. That means I need six on this side and six on this side. So let's do it. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Six pieces. One, two, three, four, five. All right. With six, I need three pieces on both sides. One, two. One, two, three. Four. We drew a lot of lines here, so we want to double check and make sure that we have exactly how many pieces we need. So we should have twelfths on the top. I'm going to put a dot inside each box to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's great. Let's do three sixths and make sure we have six total pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six. Awesome. Let's do some shading. We need eight pieces shaded in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, six. We need three pieces shaded in. One, two, three. Ooh, three sixths. That's also equal to one half. Don't forget that. All right. I see my top. Looks like it has more shaded in than my bottom when I draw that line because this whole piece, you would need an extra sixth for these to be equal, but we only have three sixths. So, eight twelfths, ask yourself, is that greater than three sixths or less than? It's greater than and not equal to. Good luck!